Murphy, world record holder, gold medalist. You know, this is an individual sport, but the emotion, really an essential part of sharing all that, it includes having family like the Murphy parents along for the ride. I remember when I got my first USA cap. I opened up the box that they sent before the meet, and it said Murphy on the side. I look over to my left, and my mom's standing there, and I think she was a little bit teary-eyed. And that's kind of been a theme of, of most of my big accomplishments. You know, I've been kind of like locked into the moment, and then I look over, and my family's somewhere right there. That's just a great symbol of, of my life and, and how supportive my family has been. This is going to be some race to the wall. Representing the U.S. on any stage is an incredible honor and it's nothing I take lightly. There's a difference between going to practice and working hard and going to practice to become the best. Everything adds up at this level. Murphy stretching to the wall for yes. the goal, gets it. Did you win? Did you win? Oh, yeah. New Olympic record for their son, Ryan Murphy. Everyone talks about when did it set in that you accomplished all these things in Rio. For me, that, that took about a year and a half to be like, all right, like, I won three gold medals in Rio. I set a world record in Rio. But what am I going to do now? Ryan Murphy! I feel like the motivation is 100% back, and adding to what I've done already in Tokyo would be uh, an incredible experience. Hear Ryan talk about his parents, Pat and Katie, and uh, it's a great swimming family. Think of all the swim practices they've been to. His brother Patrick, who was a swimmer at Notre Dame, is director of data analytics for USA Swimming, and you know I, I see them routing. I just think about the reminder that parents aren't going to be able to come to Tokyo because of the international ban on travelers for the Olympics. So for many of the parents who are here at trials. This will be the only time, and for some, the last time they see their kids swimming in person after all those years. That's going to be part of the emotional story we live once we get to the games in about six weeks. That's got to be so tough, but at least they have this moment right now. Mm -hmm. In a great venue here in Omaha. Murphy will be in lane five. Another great story in this semifinal, the first of two. Matt Grievers, 36 years old, two-time Olympian in this event, won the silver in 08, the gold in 2012, missed by just under a half a second of getting in in 2016. Here he is, 36, father of a couple of kids. He's back at it in the semifinals, banging heads with these younger kids. Well, unless you're a family member or a teammate of the rest of these 15 guys, as you see Michael, he's very interested in this race, no doubt. Wife Nicole, and look at Boomer right there. Boy, he is growing up, hasn't it? Can't wait to talk to him a little bit later on, but you know what? I think going back to Grievers for a second, I, mm -hmm. I think an average fan is really pulling for this guy. There's Justin Ress. Haven't even mentioned this guy yet. Well, we talk about the past and maybe with Grievers and the present with Murfwell. Rest in lane four actually beat both of them in the prelims. Rest is 23 years old, Cary, North Carolina, just outside of Raleigh. 53 flat, his personal best, and he was just a tenth of a second slower than that. Murphy was 15th at the wall in the prelims and then came back better than anybody else. He's not 15th now, he's third at 25-8. Murphy, excuse me, Murphy's first there at 25-4. Reavers was third at 25-8. Outstanding off the turn by Murphy, extending to half a body length lead. A statement here. A very strong effort, Rowdy, no doubt. He touches at 52.22. So Ryan Murphy, the world record holder, with a very strong swim in the semifinal. Justin Ress right next to him, second. Matt Grievers, third. And that oh should boy. be pretty good yeah. voting for the final tomorrow night. Pretty good indeed. You know, he told his brother Patrick, he said, you know, I'm going to turn and look at the wall and see where I'm at. If I'm looking pretty good, I'm going to shut things down. Well, if he's shutting things down and he's four tenths off the world record, that's incredible. There are the three guys I was talking about. Pass with Grievers, and he'll be on to the final. There's the middle world record holder. And then, of course, Justin Ress. And look at the finish.
Let's see this finish here. See how he finishes. See if he's got some left in the tank. That's perfect. That's beautiful. Nice long stroke. I shouldn't say long. That you want to finish on a full stroke. Much mm -hmm. better angle here. When you think about the full stroke finish, that's exactly what you want to do. You don't want to be short. You don't want to be too long. Good there for him. And no doubt. And rest. How about rest going to best time? 52-8. They have mom and dad. Girlfriend Bridget there as well. I love the picture they had. Mom had the pin of a picture of young Ryan swimming. And uh, Ryan now 25 years old. Double Olympic gold medal in the backstroke. World record holder. 52.22 is world records 51.85. With rest second a personal best. And Grievers at age 36 in third again. The top eight times from the two semifinals will advance to the finals in this event tomorrow. That's second semifinal.